Today on In the Woodyard, it's a cleanup day. We've got wood to move, wood to load. Here we go. So yesterday you saw me working with the splitter and I split this ash from this free stuff that I got that I paid a stick of gum for. And this is what's left. I got some odd sized rounds here. These are a lot of shorties and weird looking stuff. And then there's some long ones here that I gotta cut a little bit off and split some. And then these are some of the chunks that are going into the chunk pile. And so that's what I got split there. Now, what I need to do is I need to get rid of the stuff out of the trailer because I have to load a load up for delivery for first thing tomorrow morning because it's already late in the afternoon today. So all I'm gonna do is we're gonna go dump that, go put it back in a corner somewhere where I can stack it out of the way. And then we're gonna load up some oak for a delivery for tomorrow. And I'm gonna do some cleanup in here. And if I get time, if it's still light out, because it's pretty late in the day, I might cut these off, load up some of the chunks. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably pick up some of these odd sized chunks and maybe split some of the, the remaining little few chunks that are here. I got enough time probably to do that. So that's what we're gonna do. It's basically clean up. And then we're gonna load the trailer for the delivery for tomorrow. So here we go. It's time to get busy right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to slide the splitter out of here so I can close the doors. And again, this is something you can't do with a big splitter. My little baby splitter. Probably can't even see me over here. I just wheel it around pretty much anywhere I want to go. So in the piles, it's nice because you can move it around to where the wood is like I just did there. I mean, it takes two seconds. A lot of people say, oh, don't use the tractor, the truck to move it. Well, because I can pick it up and shove it and what did that take? Five seconds? Okay. I'm done with that rant. Now we're going to clean this crap up here. So it's going to leave all this debris that came off the splitter. So I'm going to rake this up, put it in the tractor. I am going to use the tractor. <laughs> See? Um, but right now we're just going to get rid of this. So I can close the doors here. Here's the uh, piece that broke off the splitter. I got to put that over here. So yeah, if you weren't watching yesterday, I broke my splitter. This is the handle for the top of the wedge right here for lifting up. I had a big nasty piece I was splitting. It must have turned and caught and pushed this back and rusted the weld here. But we'll bend that back down and weld it back on eventually. But as long as I can get it on and off, it's all that matters. So I'm going to close up these doors and then we're going to go dump this ash. I've got a spot in the back where I've got a bunch of mixed hardwoods. That's where I'm going to dump it. Kind of back where most of the other ash is anyway. And uh, a lot of this is going to be dry and ready to burn real soon because when I was splitting it, some of the smaller chunks, they would dry already. So this stuff will dry fast. As you know, ash dries fast and it's pretty much ready to burn when you cut it pretty much. So anyway, we're going to, we got the doors closed. She's hooked up now. And uh, so now I'm going to start the tractor up and we're going to drive it back over that corner over there and we're going to dump it. And then we're going to fill it back up with different wood. So it's dumping time.
Well, I'm trying to dump the wood, but I had a little technical difficulty, a little oopsie. Come on over here, I'll show you up the front. This is what happens when you have the two inch ball on a two and five sixteenths hitch. I should have had this ball up there. So <laughs> I started pulling ahead and the trailer came a little whales and all of a sudden boop, it just popped away. Luckily there's no one around to see it. Besides all of you, only 10,000 people a day. So there you go. I gotta hook it back up now, switch this around. So yeah, stuff like that can happen. I did that one other time. Oh, about three years ago, I had it on my truck. I went to do a delivery and it started coming off and I saw it and it dawned on me. I had switched, switched the ball around. And uh, so yeah, don't be stupid like me. Now I can go down and move this out of here so I don't run it over. There we go. Now I can pull ahead. So the reason I backed up where I am is that this is some of the oldest wood I have. I think it's like the second full truckload that I did last and the last summer and it's out in the sun. I mean it's in a good drying spot. But the main reason is this is a two cord, two face cord load and I got a two face cords right back in that corner there. So I backed the trailer right up to it. But this is the very bottom edge of the berm that I've been working on taking away. And this wood is actually right on the edge of it here. It kind of goes uphill slightly onto the edge of the berm. I moved it as far back as I could when the berm was here. But I want to sell all this as soon as I can on this edge so that I can clean this away and then level this off through this whole area out into my, my drive where it comes in. I'll come over on this side and show you so you can see. So hopefully I'm doing this that it's going to make sense. See my berm goes that way and then it goes that way. And all this wood is kind of in the corner here. And this is the corner of the berm right here where it goes. This one you can see it starts to go uphill here and then it goes that way over that direction. And all this wood right here on this edge is somewhat, uh, you can see that's where it is right here. But where I'm standing down here, I'm like two feet below where this is. So all this needs to come out of here, this wood, and then I'm gonna dig all this out and then I can level this whole area off. It'll have a slope to it, it won't be level. It'll, it'll be sloped, but it'll be, uh, 
much better for stacking wood. It won't be the, on the side of a hill like this basically is. So it's gonna step up into the trailer here. So I got a two face cord roll right here. And then over the next three days, I've got, I think I added up, I think I've got right around four full cords I'm gonna be delivering total. I mean, this is a two face cord load. Then tomorrow at the end of the day, I've got a one face cord, so that's a full cord. And then I've got uh, a full cord load after that, then another full cord load, or is it a two face cord? And there's, there's a bunch of deliveries that adds up to be like 11 or 12 face cords, so like four full cords. So I hope to get rid of a whole bunch of this stuff right in through here where it's on the edge of the berm so that I can clean this out better, get it leveled off, and then I can start going back to town on stacking some new loads. So we're gonna chuck this in right now and I don't have to measure it because it's a pre-measured pile. I know that it's what it needs to be. I'm just gonna chuck it in and then be done. It is loaded. So that's two phase cords that was right here. And what I want to do is sell all this wood right in through here because this is on a slight uphill this way. I mean, this way. And I want to get this so I can level this out or get it more level. Um, so this area out here that I've been digging and then level all this off. So I'm going to walk back here so you can see um, just how much space I'm going to be gaining um, by digging that berm out once that's gone there. So from right here, this is just half the berm you're looking at or where it was anyway, from where the dirt is there, all the way out past the front of the bucket of the tractor. And so I know I can probably, I was thinking the other day I could get a truckload in here. Now that I look at it, I'm pretty sure I could get two truckloads in the same space where I took the berm away. So by getting rid of all the berm, the whole thing, because it's like a C-shaped type thing, um, I will be able to get at least four, maybe even five truckloads extra in the same space that I'm not even using or have it so I got a row down the middle at least, then I can put a couple truckloads in here so I'll be able to circle around and get around at all the different angles and be able to move snow away and all that kind of good stuff and be able to get at the wood. So now we're gonna take this trailer and we're gonna go park it because this is a delivery I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. I'm gonna climb up here so you can see again. This is a delivery for first thing tomorrow morning. And I like to always try to load my first delivery the night before. Um, even if I'm really busy and I get back like at dark, most of those nights when I'm really busy doing deliveries, cause on like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, real big delivery days in the fall, which is starting right now, I will very often get back, it'll be dark after delivering say, you know, three, four loads and I'll load up the next day's load right away in the dark. I'll just put a headlight on, back up the trailer, load it up, because it only takes me 15, 20 minutes to throw a load on like this, a two-face cord load, it doesn't take that long. And that way in the morning, I can just hook it up and go. So I'm not, you know, in the morning having to get here extra early to load it and then go, because there's a lot of days I'll do five, six, you know, loads like this when I'm really busy. The biggest day I ever had was last year, and I delivered 18, or was it 19? Is it 18 or 19 face cords? So it was eight face cords I delivered to my first person, but I had to do it in two loads. And I had one of them loaded from the night before, and then I loaded up another four face cord load after that and delivered, so that was 12. And then I did, a, I think, two doubles and a few singles, but it ended up being, it was a full day by the time I was done, but that was the, that was the most I've delivered in one day. But it's real common for me to deliver, to deliver two or three full cords in a day. Um, not that I'm delivering all, you know, full cord load. Sometimes it's just a single or a double like this one is. Sometimes it's a four. Uh, once in a while I get a five. Um, so it's pretty common that time of year that I get that many. Um, the bad thing is, is like now, the sun is setting right now. You can see over there, it's starting to go down. It's only about quarter after six because it sets about 6.30 now, maybe even sooner than that. I don't know. We're losing daylight fast now. That's all I know. Uh, so the days, I like the coolness, but I don't like the short days. I want more time to work. Okay, so this load is on. We're going to go park it right now.
we're back at the big cookie bin here and I'm on the back side because from the front I can't even throw any more in because it's getting too high. But back here I should be able to get a, a few more buckets full in here anyway. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna fill as many as I can into here from this and the load of locusts that I cut up and that barkless oak that I cut up not too long ago. We're gonna probably top it off and that's gonna be it. And then I gotta build a new cookie bin because this one is getting very full. Um, but this I think is gonna sell. I think I can price this right and to the right people, people with boilers, people with uh, wood stoves that want some cheap wood for heating. This will be good stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty much all gonna be ready to burn because everything that's been in here is probably anywhere from two years old to one year old and stuff that I cut this last spring went in here, but it was all little smaller chunks and I split it down like a lot of this, like this is ash here. This will be, this is almost dry now actually. Dry to burn now, dry enough to burn. So we're just gonna toss it in and uh, then build a new cookie bin because I'm gonna need another one. And I'm thinking I'm gonna build it right on the other side over this way, kind of behind me. And it will be uh, another big one, I think. Because in the next year, I'm sure I can fill another one. And then I can just kind of alternate. I've got two now. And uh, the one that's out front is four pallets on the bottom. So it's, what would that be? 80 inches, because it's two 40 inch pallets by 96 inches. Because it's, yeah, so it'd be 80 by 96. And then that's about six feet high. So there's a lot of wood in there. And that stuff's going to be real dry because that's from last year. And uh, I think that I'm going to lower this down a little bit. This is getting too high for me to reach now. Um, I think that I've got enough that if someone wants to heat their house for real cheap for a whole year, I think I could supply at least one person that has a wood boiler. Like what's in here or here would heat a house for a whole year, I bet. And I think I could, if a guy wanted it and if he was willing to come get it, I would sell it pretty cheap. So if there's anybody out there that's looking for some cheap wood, this might be it. Because I haven't advertised it at all yet, but when I do advertise it, I'm going to advertise it as cutoffs and chunks. And I'll take pictures of it with my hand holding it so they can see kind of what's there. And describe it and I'm going to price it so that it's highly desirable. Price to sell. Everything must go. How's that? There. That's empty. Good job. Done. So there you go. It's in the bin. And that's what we want. Wood in the bin. I'm going to walk out here. It's kind of dark back in the woods in there where I've been working. So tomorrow, that load that I loaded from right over here, I'm going to go deliver that first thing in the morning. So we're going to do a big dump in the morning. And then at the end of the day, I have to deliver wood to a guy that's uh, bought in the past. He's a guy that does uh, smoking. He does events and he needs another face cord. He usually buys two, three a year, something like that. They plan on doing a lot more events. So it could, could build into being, you know, a real good, bigger customer where he buys quite often. So anyway, here's the dirt. I'm going to work on that some more coming up this next couple of days. Probably not tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got like I said, those two deliveries and then I got other work I have to do in my other business. But then the day after that, I've got a full day of deliveries. And the day after that, we have a guest coming. Yes, it's going to be a surprise. Another YouTuber's coming. Someone you haven't, I guess you saw him one time on my channel. But he's coming. He's from uh, a ways away. I'm not going to tell you who he is, but he's a good guy. He's coming. He's going to come and work. We're going to get stuff done. So I'll see you then tomorrow morning for big dumpage. Between now and tomorrow, get outside, get cutting. And if you would like to, you could poke some buttons right now. That'd be a good thing. To like, to subscribe, to share, all that good stuff. Hit them all. Good night, Irene. <laughs>